As our lovely sun leaves, let's see if we can get some more time in together as I wanted to share a lovely meeting. So when empowered women meet empowered men, what happens is everything we knew was true is true. That not any of those gender stereotypes are what all men or women are about. So this is great news for you all, all women and all men who are curious. I have the capacity to share that when you meet those who do know what love is, they will be enriched by the woo-woo spiritual people. They will also be enriched by good therapy people. They will also be enriched by activities that are objectively supporting us to go beyond any type of trauma and not re-traumatizing events. They will have good ears for those who are supporting no casting of stones. And so when they hear about polyamory, they don't say, oh, so you were traumatized because of your twin flames. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You're actually just making up shit. You're not polyamorous. Oh, you know what? How about this? Can I fuck you then? No. Hey, are you a masochist? No, again, I have healthy self-worth. What are you, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm just presenting some of the random things. Oh, whore, whore. Oh, wait, unfaithful. That, that one really is a kicker, unfaithful. I'm like, you don't understand, huh, polyamory? It's called consensual non-monogamy. You really should think about that one. But I like to play with words myself so I understand that you're making it into a concept of how dare they be unfaithful polyamory people because you're a monogamous or monoamorous person basically you don't know that we can love more than one person in a non-conventional friendship way and that the empowered women men and days yeah we're not like hey wait a minute did I lose you is he out oh, I, lo I lost them they got out I, I I lost the leash the leash that I was holding them with I I, I don't know what happened Oh, sorry. Okay, so an empowered woman will love meeting empowered men like I do. Right now, I'm just on a high. And what I'm going to say is they don't objectify you in the bedroom. They do not in any way, shape, or form agree with any of that, which is toxic masculinity. And they don't have shame, which is nice because you don't have to do, good boy, you did a great job. So, yeah, with that, that's where an empowered woman will be very happy to meet authentic, empowered human beings. Because the authentic ones, they know that the gender stereotypes are bullshit. And that's because they're intellectually and emotionally smart. So they don't follow any of those limited consciousness spokespeople. They hear them. They learn from them. They expand their brains. That's why they're bilaterally integrated. So here's where self-help lady, it's not bullshit for bilaterally available to their self people. This is the whole point. The people who find self-help and personal development bullshit, they have the left mode. There's no inner child coming up, and they're like, this bullshit, I got laundry in my body. That lady, she don't know what she's talking about. Pseudoscience, bitch. Polyamory, unfaithful whore. And that's where we're like, wow, can you get any more creative, teenager? Because that's what I'm thinking about. You're from 3D land, and I'm 5D, and I'm just wondering when you're going to get uh, what's up to the memo, up to speed. Do you know what year it is? Because I'm pretty sure you don't know what year it is yet, do you? You're lost in a time space Time, time worm. Okay, so empowered men, they're really awesome. And what you end up finding out also is that they don't get supported by the very women that surround them, which is really like, I'm so sorry that you had to deal that, deal with that. I, I would totally be supportive. You know what happened to me? I, I got told not to talk about my opinions about genders and, and us being all the same or, you know, about any of my independent women talk. <laughs> That was my boyfriend. But see, I, I understood because, you know, they, they have a different town from where I come from. <laughs> and I'm like, I love my, I love that man. I love the man. But I will never forget that day. I, I, I need to ask him. He has a better memory than I. I'm pretty sure I chewed him out. I was so pissed at him. I'm like, I'm coming because I'm your girlfriend. This is the only reason I have to come. I'm your partner. Your partner means that I have to show up, but don't you invite me to any more of your stuff with these people because I am not going to not talk about my topics. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're supposed to say, I welcome all that you are, but he made a lot of sense too, though, because he's a smart man. And that is where if we have people who are close-minded, let's say I'm in a room and I have been in a room, with a bunch of people where I am an Akashic record reader. I am a woo-woo spiritual life coach, pseudoscience mystic who channels. I have all past life regressions that, you know, come on, my lovely viewers, you, you know all of this already. Tarot card reader, 
pretty sure someone's going to be like, that lady, we need to leave right now. <laughs> so anyways, I know what he meant, which is in some context, we're not able to uh, discuss. And in fact, that's also why empowered women, let's hang out with empowered men. What do you say? I'm pretty sure empowered days agree to. So come on over the IHP community. We build it with people who are of the 5D collective means that we don't have in or out groups. So we know all professionals are either good at what they're doing because they care, and that's with all of them. And so they continue education. They know about mental hygiene, mental health. They know how to be all inclusive because that's what empowerment means. They also know that gender stereotypes are not true. Uh, no overgeneralizations. Uh, they don't make blanket statements in the sense of this is the one way and the one way only. Obviously, we all make concepts and have concepts. I'm trying to hear myself better so I can be more open-ended in the way that I present to things. But sometimes I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it where I'm just making some blanket statement because, you know, that's a day. That's how I'm coming out. So here's why I try to keep that in mind, too, with any of the material that I ever consume. There are those who they consistently, though, are bringing the 3D, 4D mindset is what I'm going to bring to you right now. And these are words that I use in my own way for my community. These are not stepping stones of any type. It's the way that I'm going to convey continuously. If you have questions, ask. I will gladly reply on a response online so others can benefit from your question. I don't do the how-tos. Let me explain. Okay, so as the sun goes out, I want to end our conversation with empowered men are really awesome. Uh, they're definitely aware of what true intimacy is, the bedroom, and that's in all ways that involves none of what is in a group of arena of individuals who might need what is another group of people that I have learned about from my different courses, but that I have a strong feeling that they consistently are venturing off into what is re-traumatization land and while they have ways that they allow themselves to talk about it i'm a zero one year old who's sharing with people you can be your zero one year old with this very social engagement system and that's because you get here by doing your own thoughts emotions once you have become the reparented version of yourself no more shame you're the inner child adult of you and so if we need extra because of needing more support from good therapists along our journey, one-to-one -one mentorship, masterclass, or group, if one of our community members, we notice, hey, you know, there's this thing that keeps coming up, and this is in general right now I'm talking, we will say something to support each other. And that's where you will notice the difference between support and people who are actually trying to tell you something in a way of a martyr superior. Now, the part about the ears that are hearing it, okay, so empowered men and women, we hear each other. We hear feedback, always, not just sometimes. This is open ears, the ones who don't hear. So you can spell out the truth that will set someone free, which is your emotional plane is for you to alchemize with your left and your right and to integrate your brain and to become this restorative embodiment self. Our lovely 5D is Christ consciousness. It's, it's named that way because he is the representation of unconditional love and more than just that. For those of us who are spiritual, we have a direct relationship with Akash, God, a sense of love, life. And this is something that, again, woo-woo is because I respect good academics who empower with information and they prove there's no demon, devil, evil that possesses anyone. You have a fear receptor in your brain. Thank you, Patrick McNamara, neuroscientist. So when it comes to being human, I keep learning all about it. I'm a human myself. I support people that want to be more of their self with the inner growth mindset, dealing with uncertainty and wanted and unexpected from within you while going with the flow with your heart, not my heart. So you're not here to be me, but you're here to know I'm a restorative embodiment, integrated brain, and I'm an empowered woman who has a zero one-year-old. No shame. Three-year-old, no shame again. I got lucky. I know the truth, and I'm not bothered when somebody tells me, hey, Maria, think you're overreacting? What do you think? You know what? I'm going to pause. I need to pause. I need to think about it. Hmm. Okay. I was a little bit charged. And then you go and verify. I like to verify with my trusted men and women. They're all intellectually and emotionally smart, and then to have debates and good debates. And then to notice, okay, 
What can I do to work with my charges when they come up? This is what a functional adult does. So it's not about being emotionless. It's about emotional, mental, and physical mastery. Empowered women, men, and days, they are awesome together. <laughs> and all I can say is it's beautiful because when you meet people who finally don't question, yeah, I'm a mystic, I'm polyamory, I have twin flames, I'm an Akashic record reader, I, and nobody is just listening to you, all of the things or wanting to enmesh, it's just really beautiful. That's what expansion feels like. It's like, okay. So that new moon bringing us the vibe, the herd, our tribe, and empowering Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, and here's where I'm actually going to shut this one down because I want you to be able to see it well, and then I'll do a short one. Hopefully, the lighting will be okay. I might use my phone for that one. But meantime, thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. If you do enjoy personal development, self-help with the woo-woo spirituality lady, please come on over if you're a mystic and you want spiritual awakening guidance, which means to be walked through your journey. We want to consult. And then we want to integrate it with a one-to-one -one and figure out what the best plan is for you. Just because I have been on my journey since 2000, I, I lose track. 2007 is when I began Claire's, but I was also still on a planet. Our lovely planet still had 3D vibration. Now that we're in 5D, vibration is a whole different story. But long story short, I would want to visit with you where you're at and be able to give you an idea of that mental, emotional, physical plane mastery because those are the aspects that you are opened up to as a person who has what I say is a blessing, that we have a double, a double perception because you get to be your human self when you are whole and empowered as a woman or man. If not there yet, we get you first there. And so once you're there, you're getting to actually also pick up on our collective. And that's not just here, it's also beyond. And then from that, whatever it is that you're embarked on already is something that you're going to keep on doing more of. So it's really beautiful. You don't lose people. No, no. You grow people. You grow more relationships. And that's because all people, even the ones who are not pachas, okay? So when we meet all people, they're beautiful. I can thank all of my oversoul for everything. In fact, when I think of people who don't expand, it makes me want to cry. So that's the part, though. They get to choose if they want to go to good therapy, and there are those who don't. They don't want to go to therapy. They don't want a life coach. They don't want to do personal development. They don't want to do any of it. They just want to say, there's a devil and a demon right there, and I know you're going to hell and stuff like that. Uh, yoga brings demons out of you, and, you know, men are always the same, and they're going to cheat, and women like this, and polyamory are just whores, and you, know, you name it. You name the ways that people that are not expanding go. So we'll leave that one alone. We'll be back with more. Thank you again for stopping by.